What's up guys, Robin Phillips here, and today I felt compelled to make this video. Sellers are out there thinking that the market is the same every single day, and it's not. So I wanted to talk about the nine mistakes to avoid when selling your home in the June 2022 market. Stick around. So what are the nine mistakes to avoid when selling your home in the June 2022 market? Mistake number one to avoid, not understanding the total cost to buy and sell your home. See, most people who are selling a home are also buying one. So meet with a lender in advance to understand the total cost of that new home purchase. How much money do you need down? You say your house is worth what? Y'all do not overprice your home. Mistake number two to avoid. Mistake number three, not preparing your home for sale. I've gotten my sellers as much as 10% more by asking them to properly declutter, make necessary repairs, make the house neutral colors that are on trend, and to create massive curb appeal. Sometimes it's hard to spend this money up front. However, when you do it, you will reap the rewards. Mistake number four, not hiring a professional photographer. Over 90% of buyers are looking for their dream home online prior to coming to town, sometimes prior to even contacting a real estate agent. So put the most beautiful 4K HD photos you can online so that those buyers are seeing your home in the best possible light. It will equate to more money in your pocket. Mistake number five, y'all don't be in the house when the buyer is there. They're never gonna feel like it's their house if you're like following them around everywhere and going, oh, look at that, oh, look at that. The buyer's agent knows all that stuff. Your agent already put it all online. Yo, go get a cup of coffee and leave them alone. Mistake number six is not listening to buyer feedback. If you have a great agent, they should be getting feedback from every single showing. And if buyers aren't making an offer, you should know why. If it's something you can change, change it. If it's something you can't change and that's why buyers aren't making an offer, you might have to lower the price. Remember, you're not setting the selling price. The agent isn't setting the selling price. The market will tell you what that house should sell for. Make sure you're listening to the market. Mistake number seven is just considering the price when choosing an offer. The terms of the offer can be just as important. Is the buyer paying cash or are they getting financing? Are they gonna take a month to close or are they gonna take two weeks to close? Make sure all of these factors are examined before you choose the offer that's best for you. Mistake number eight, not being willing to negotiate. So you get a bunch of offers and you're like, what you gonna give me? You gonna give me pizza every Friday night for a year? You know, wash my car every weekend? And then you get it under contract and that buyer's like, I want repairs. And you're like, repairs? You're lucky I even took your offer. I'm not paying for repairs. And then the buyer's like, well, I'm out. And then where are you? You are back on market and you're getting another offer and it's lower. Take some advice, negotiate. Last but not least, mistake number nine. Don't get emotional. It is so hard in this current market with everything that's going on to keep your emotions in check. But just remember that your real estate agent is there to take the brunt of it. Sit back, relax, and push all of it onto them. They have got you. If you guys need any help selling your home this month or even this year, give me a shout. You know where I am, can't wait to help.